In November 2007, Kim Wilde performed live in Moscow in St. Petersburg in Russia as part of an 80s festival called Deskoteka 80s. The concert was broadcast on Russian television on New Year's Day 2008. At the end of January, Kim went to Switzerland to perform a few songs during the Art on Ice spectacle. She performed four dates in Zurich and two in Lausanne. It was broadcast on Swiss television in February. On April 5, Kim performed live in Mannheim and Freiburg in Germany to celebrate the 20th birthday of Radio Regenbogen. Also in April, Kim appeared on UK television in support of the Dig Your Dinner campaign, which promotes planting rare varieties of vegetables in the back garden. Well, you, know, I, you know, that's why I'm here today talking about the Dig Your Dinner campaign, which is about getting people to think about growing things, growing their own dinner. Growing their own And veg. especially if they haven't grown... Have you grown anything, Carol? I, li you? I live in a flat! <laughs> <laughs> a bit, a bit I live in a flat! I can't yeah. grow anything! Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm a plant murderer. Do, do you have to have, like... Experience, or well, can anyone the whole like the whole idea for the campaign this this spring is to get yeah. people who may, perhaps have never grown seeds before mm -hmm. to start thinking about maybe sowing some outside in pots if you haven't got a garden windows you know window ledges sills pots yeah. and also the dig your dinner campaign is, is flagging up some varieties which are in danger of becoming extinct and uh, these varieties are living antiques you know they've been with us for generations and although you can buy them in, in you know your local nursery as heirloom varieties there are a number who, that are actually in danger of becoming extinct. Mm. The, there are three of them here. Yep. This is, um, there, there's a, a pea, a jay's pea, which apparently originates in Luton, <laughs> which v is very exciting because I'm going to plant that because I live just down the road from Luton. So, so climate, I should climate be, will be right for you there. Mm -hmm. that, well, so that, it, that's, it kind of makes some, mm. some sense. If it survived hundreds of, uh, hundreds of years till, till now and, did, and, and uh, originated in Luton, it should do well in Codicut. This is yep. what I'm thinking. <laughs> and then there's one, there's an onion here. This is a Rausham onion. I haven't um, grown this one before, but mm -hmm. I've, I've received these seeds from uh, Garden Organic, who are the UK's leading organic growing uh, charity. And that's the only way you can get these seeds because these are not on the national seed list. So you have to become a member of Garden Organic in order mm -hmm. to receive these. Mm. But to support seeds uh, that are in uh, danger of becoming extinct, you can you should support heirloom varieties. Yeah. So gardeners out there in a, in a position to uh, reclaim these seeds, get involved in growing them again. As I'm growing a few of them in my garden. I've, I have grown some heirloom varieties before as well, some lovely pink and white candy, chiogia, beet, beetroot that look beautiful as well as taste fantastic. Um, I'm growing a Jay's pea so that originates from Luton. Well, I mean, I think originates from Luton. How glamorous! Because I, well, <laughs> I live down the road from Luton, oh, and, and, this, and the Jay's pea originates uh, the, the, the bean that, uh, that Garden Organic have got 
uh, does originate from the, the seed that they have is from Newton. Of course, as I say, beans actually came over from America hundreds of years ago, but they've been acclimatised here and grown here, and, and they develop mm. their own genetic identity from being grown in different areas, and some do better than others. So they have a genetic makeup, and then, and then if we lose that genetic makeup, it's out of the gene pool, and then we can't use them to uh, breed more plants in the future. So I, I knew I was going to lose you. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just... In July, Kim performed a free live concert in the center of Brussels in Belgium. She sang a duet with Belgian singer Born Crane. Kim also found time to present a program on VH1, presenting her top 50 80s anthems. Hi, I'm Kim Wilde and welcome to my top 50 countdown of Ultimate 80s Anthems. Over the next few hours I'm going to take you on a musical trip down memory lane through a decade of Rubik's Cubes and Neuromantics, minor strikes and massive chart hits. So let's get things going with gorgeous Aussie rockers in excess and never tear us apart. Kim would make a rather controversial appearance on the Australian footy show singing Kids in America on this very Australian event. And in August she appeared on the Polish Sopost Festival for the third time in her career. My Germany has two compilation albums this year, The Essential and Platinum, both compiling songs from Kim's early EMI years. More interesting was Kim's signing on to the Night of the Proms in Germany. A live CD was released to commemorate this 20-day tour between November 28 and December 21. Kim sang three songs and participated in the grand finale. <laughs> 